James had cherished his cat, Mr. Minky, for over three years. Mr. Minky was an outdoor cat, and James knew how much the freedom meant to him. If kept indoors all day, Mr. Minky would meow incessantly and wreak havoc around the house. James preferred to let him roam outside, where the cat could play and bask in the sunlight, trusting that Mr. Minky would always return home, especially around dinner time. However, one day was different. Mr. Minky didn't show up at his usual hour. James waited nervously throughout the evening, growing increasingly anxious as the night wore on. Sleep eluded him. His mind raced with worry. By morning, Mr. Minky still hadn't returned. James felt a knot of fear tightening in his chest. He knew he had to take action. James's first step was to call local animal shelters, hoping Mr. Minky had been picked up and was safe. He described his beloved cat in detail, urging them to contact him if they found any sign of Mr. Minky. Next, James created posters with Mr. Minky's photo and began plastering them around the neighborhood, hoping someone had seen his cat. Two agonizing days passed with no trace of Mr. Minky. James' anxiety mounted with each passing hour. He feared the worst imagining all manner of terrible fates that could have befallen his furry companion. Then, early one morning, James was startled awake by loud mewing echoing through the house. Without even stopping to dress, he dashed downstairs. His heart pounded in his chest as he reached the kitchen, where he was overcome with joy and relief. There, standing before him, was Mr. Minky. James couldn't believe his eyes. It felt like a dream come true. Tears streamed down James's face as he embraced his cat, showering Mr. Minky with affection. Amidst his overwhelming happiness, James noticed something unusual around Mr. Minky's neck, a strange collar with a large white object attached. Curiosity and concern mingled as James tried to remove the collar, but Mr. Minky resisted, clearly agitated. Startled by Mr. Minky's unexpected reaction, James accidentally let him slip from his arms. Questions raced through his mind about the collar and what it could mean. James felt unsure and worried, both for himself and for Mr. Minky. Determined not to lose hope, James thought carefully about his next steps. He remembered having a mild sleeping pill that wouldn't harm Mr. Minky. Rushing to retrieve it, he tried to administer it to the cat, hoping it would calm him down. Mr. Minky, however, refused to eat the pill directly. Thinking quickly, James decided to mix the pill into some food, hoping to trick Mr. Minky into taking it. After a bit of coaxing, Mr. Minky finally ate the medicated food and soon drifted off into a peaceful sleep. As James watched Mr. Minky rest, his heart filled with gratitude that his beloved cat was safe at home again. Despite the mystery surrounding the collar, James knew he would do whatever it took to ensure Mr. Minky's well-being and to unravel the puzzle of what had happened during those worrisome days apart. James cautiously approached the device attached to Mr. Minky's collar, his mind swirling with a mix of curiosity and apprehension. As he drew nearer, he noticed something new, a faint red light blinking on the device. His curiosity turned to unease. What could this device be doing? Could it pose a threat? Determined to unravel the mystery, James felt he had every right to understand what was affixed to Mr. Minky's collar. It didn't belong there, and he needed to ensure his cat's safety. With resolve hardening his grip, James fetched a pair of scissors from the kitchen. Carefully, yet with urgency, he cut the collar to free the device. Examining it closely, James turned the collar over in his hands. In the light, he spotted a small button that hadn't been obvious before. Pressing it tentatively, he was startled when the device emitted a beep and a mechanical voice announced, Upload initiated. Upload complete. James was baffled. He hadn't connected the device to the internet, yet it had somehow uploaded data. What kind of information was being transmitted? Frustrated by the lack of answers and feeling a growing sense of urgency, James abandoned caution. He retrieved a hammer from his toolbox and laid the device on the table, smashing it until the casing cracked open. Peering inside, James discovered a camera, which he half expected. 
But to his surprise, alongside the camera were a microphone and an antenna, equipment that suggested the device could transmit data autonomously. The implications sent a chill down his spine. Who would put such a device on his cat, and for what purpose? Realizing he needed help, James hesitated briefly before dialing the police. He recounted the strange events and the discovery of the surveillance device. The officer on the line assured him they would send someone immediately. Minutes later, police cars pulled up outside James's house, lights flashing. The urgency with which they responded confirmed the seriousness of the situation. James wondered if this was part of a larger scheme. Were others experiencing similar intrusions? Inside, James shared his story with the officers. They listened intently, explaining that they had received reports of similar callers from other pet owners, but each time they investigated, the callers disappeared. It seemed someone was monitoring pets, perhaps waiting for an opportunity to retrieve the surveillance devices. James was astonished to learn he wasn't alone, yet relieved that his concerns were validated. He handed over the broken collar, hopeful the police could trace its origin and uncover who was behind the surveillance operation. They assured him they would analyze the evidence and keep him informed of any developments. As the police left, James felt a mixture of anxiety and determination. He had taken the first step toward unraveling the mystery, but the questions remained. Who was watching Mr. Minky and why? And what did they hope to gain by monitoring pets in the neighborhood? James resolved to find answers, determined to protect his beloved cat and his own sense of security. James attempted to unwind after the police left, trying to distract himself with a television show. However, his mind kept returning to the unsettling mystery of the caller and what it meant for Mr. Minky and their safety. Just as he began to settle into the show, the phone rang. James hesitated, hiding the unfamiliar number with apprehension. Despite his unease, curiosity compelled him to answer. Hello. It was the police station on the line, calling with an update. They had conducted a thorough analysis of the device James had found on Mr. Minky's collar. They had managed to trace the device back to its creator and uncovered startling information about its purpose. The truth they revealed was almost too bizarre to believe. The device was the creation of a local teenager who had been experimenting with tracking technology. He had been secretly placing these collars on neighborhood cats to test the device's functionality. The teenager, oblivious to the panic and confusion he had caused, had simply wanted to ensure his inventions worked reliably. His dream was to start a business centered around pet tracking devices. James listened in disbelief as the police explained the situation. He couldn't fathom that the source of his anxiety had stemmed from a teenager's innocent yet misguided experiments. The relief mingled with bewilderment as he processed the unexpected turn of events. As the call concluded, James reflected on the strange chain of events that had unfolded. He felt a mix of emotions, relief that Mr. Minky was safe frustration at the unnecessary worry caused, and sympathy for the teenager who had inadvertently stirred up fear in the neighborhood. With a deep breath, James resolved to find a way to prevent such misunderstandings in the future. He hoped that by sharing this unusual tale, others might learn from the experience and approach such situations with clearer communication and understanding. As he returned to his evening, he couldn't help but chuckle at the absurdity of the situation, relieved that the mystery of the caller had finally been solved.